Hello traders. How are you doing today? How has been your trading journey? Hope you are making good progress in your trading journey. I am happy to be your partner in progress towards becoming a profitable and successful forex trader. In fact, that's the purpose and the vision of this YouTube channel to make as much profitable traders as possible. Okay? If you're a returning subscriber, I want to thank you so much for your support and I want to thank you so much and I believe I will not fail you. I'll keep on pro producing and providing uh, more information and content that will help you to continue to grow in your journey and succeed. If you're a new subscriber, a new, new visitor to our channel, I want to welcome you so much to this channel and I want to ask that you kindly subscribe to our channel. Uh, click on the notification notification bell so that you can be alerted when new videos are uploaded okay you'll be the first to know when new videos are uploaded and uh, please kindly like our videos share our videos you can also uh, uh, tell me in the comment section what areas you are finding difficult in your forest trading journey and I will be very very willing to make videos and uh, videos on that all right and uh, you might want to join our free telegram channel where i post almost daily i post uh, free chat analysis on the group so you might want to join the group the telegram group the link to the telegram group is in the description box of this video all right let's move to the subject of today we want to talk about the retail chart pattern strategies with the best profit probability of success retail chart patterns strategies with the best probability of success all right now uh some of you have uh, actually uh contacted asking me about retail chart pattern strategies and several uh because sometimes we see uh, retail you see some of my charts i i indicate i also use retail chart patterns sometimes okay i actually show some retail chart patterns on my charts sometimes even though i'm a smart money trader and demand and supply trader i do indicate some retail retail concepts sometimes on my chart and i have the reason for that all right uh, retail chart patterns are not entirely bad in themselves all right although they have some uh, disadvantages which we're going to see but they are not entirely bad all right and also why i also do that is that i i want to see how the retailers are thinking and now i want to now as institutional traders we first of all assess what are the retailers thinking and then how are we going to get into this trade and how uh, because some most times retailers ideas forms uh mitigation not mitigation sorry forms uh uh liquidities a form of liquidities for institutional traders and smart money traders all right so that is why we also put retail chart patterns we consider retail chart patterns in our trades as uh, smart money traders and demand and supply traders now uh what are retail chart patterns what are retail chart patterns so these are popular historical candlestick formation or patterns on the charts of forex or any other traded instrument which help retail traders to project the next possible price movement okay examples of retail chart patterns include flags flags double and triple tops okay you have a uh, head and shoulders you have uh, double double tops and bottoms double uh, triple tops and bottoms you have a uh, pennants these are examples of retail chart patterns all right these are examples of so these are historical candlestick formation okay uh over time these patterns repeat themselves over time on the on your on your on your chart or your forex or any other instrument you trade on your chart this because the human the the the, the, the forest market or any uh, the forest market the financial market is controlled by human emotions all right by human emotions of anxiety of fear of uh, resentment of uh, of hope so these help to form price action patterns or retail chart patterns and so they repeat themselves over and over again over many years they've always showed repeated themselves in the chart so when you master these chart patterns you might be able to to be able to rightly speculate the market and know how best to trade all right now should you trade retail chart patterns that's a question for us now should we trade or should you do i what do i recommend should you trade retail chart patterns 
all right although retail shirt patterns have some disadvantages yes they have some disadvantages like they have most times they have low risk to reward ratio compared to institutional strategies all right low risk to reward ratio when compared to institutional strategies but they are more reliable and better in trading when used to trade when compared with trading with indicators i can grant i can gladly tell you in my own view some other person might disagree with me okay but from my years of experience in this business i've traded with indicators for years and uh, i uh, and i also traded with chart patterns retail chart patterns i tell you price action far 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 supersedes indicators any pr price action strategy any price action strategy is better than indicators that is why you can never ever see any indicator on my chart never ever never never ever you can never ever see any indicator in my chart that does not mean that indicators traders cannot make profit or cannot be profitable but when compared to to other price action strategies indicators I, indicators are no match in my own view so chart patterns you can trade chart patterns you can become a profitable trader by mastering a good retail chart pattern and trade it with good risk management and a stable psychology you can trade a retail chart pattern and when you mash it with a good risk management and a stable psychology you would far far be better than an indicator trader now now you i said it i said something now okay a very a, if a a, a a a very wonderful and a very good uh, sh uh strategy in the hand of of, of a of an emotionally unstable trader or in the hand of a trader that does not use good risk management will be a falling strategy sometimes it's not only or rather most times it's not only about the strategy trading success is is found in the intersection of a good strategy okay a good risk management and a stable a stable uh emotion a stable psychology all right a stable emotional condition of the trader a good risk management a a, a good risk management a good strategy and a stable psychology makes a profitable trader so and i said again trading success is found in the intersection of a good trading a, a good trading strategy a good risk management and a stable emotional psychology or state of the trader all right so you will become a far better trader if you trade chart patterns than a trader who uses only indicators to trade that's just the truth indicators are very unreliable when compared to retail retail chart patterns in my own view all right in my own view indicators uh, uh, are, are no are, are no match are somewhat inferior in my own view to trading retail chart patterns retail chart patterns are price action strategy and it's better all right so now let's consider the types of retail chart patterns we have three major types of retail chart patterns three major types of retail chart patterns three chart patterns are actually classified into three major groups number one the reversal patterns number two the continuation pattern and number three the bilateral pattern we're going to talk about each of these ones each of these uh, 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 types uh, uh, briefly now okay now first of all let's start with the uh, reversal patterns reversal patterns are patterns that indicate a change of trend from either an upward trend to a downward trend or from a, from a downward trend to an upward trend that is that is a reversal pattern all right reversal pattern indicate a change in trend from one trend to another from an upward trend to a downward trend or for a, from a downward from a uh, downward trend to an upward trend all right so when we see this pattern when we see when a price when price is in a in a trend Okay, when we see a chart, when it's when we see a trend in a, on a chart, and we see a when we spot a reversal pattern, all right, that informs the retail trader that price is about to change to the opposite trend. Got it? Now let's let's see. Now these are the the most popular reversal patterns that retailers trade. All right, we have the double top. Sorry, we have the double top. We have the double bottom. We have the head and shoulder. We have the uh, inverse head and shoulder or inverted head and shoulder. We have the rising wedge. We have the falling wedge. All right. Now, uh, uh, price. Let's look at the double top. Price was in a, on an upward trend in this case, and price makes a top. 
comes to a neckline makes another top and now when price breaks this neckline the retail trader enters the bar a, a sell in the opposite direction of the initial trend and then puts a stop loss slightly above the the entry all right just close to the to one of the tops all right so this is a reversal and the stop the take profit target will be just at the other pole just the size of the first leg of movement just below the the neckline same thing is applicable to the to the double bottom price comes sells down forms a, a bottom forms goes up to form a neckline comes back and forms another bottom now when price breaks this this uh this neckline now the rated trader enters a buy and now expects that price should get to the first leg to up to the point of the first leg of the of the trend the, the opposite trend same for head and shoulders price was in, a, in an uptrend makes the first shoulder which is called the left shoulder and now comes up and makes a head and now comes back to a neckline makes another head which is the right shoulder sorry a, 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 another shoulder which is the right shoulder comes down breaks the neckline in the retail trader enters a cell and now targets the the initial point of the the starting point or rather the, the the first leg of the other the opposite trend same for the inverse head and shoulder for the rising wedge all right price buys consolidates into a wedge breaks the wedge sells stop loss at the at the top of the uh, consolidation and take profit close to the the the, the 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 first leg of of the movement or the opposite trend now for a falling wedge price sells down okay makes a consolidation okay makes a consolidation in the form of a wedge breaks the wedge to the upside the retail trailer enters a buy and expects to take profit at the at the at the point of the first leg okay and now take uh, stop loss is just at the other side of the wedge so this is the reversal pattern it informs a change in trend from either a buy trend uh, trend to a sell trend all right and then an upward trend to a downward trend or from a, or a downward trend to an upward trend now let's look at the continuation pattern the continuation pattern shows a continuation of either an uptrend or a continuation of a downtrend now what does that mean it means if on a chart if a trend is an, is an upward trend on a chart and a reversal pattern is formed that informs the retail trader that price is going to continue in the direction of the of the uptrend okay the reversal pattern is just like a break just not a break just like a, a rest for price a consolidation in form of a consolidation and a continuation now if the price was in a downtrend and the retail, data, the retail trader spots a consolidation in form of a continuation pattern the retail trader knows or expects that price should continue in the form con when price breaks the consolidation price is going to continue in the downward trend okay so that is the continuation pattern now let us see uh, the chart uh, some examples or rather the markup now this is a continuation pattern we have a falling wedge we have the rising wedge we have the bullish triangle or the bullish flag we have the uh, bearish tri uh, tri sorry not triangle bullish rectangle or the bullish flag the bearish rectangle or the bearish flag we have the bullish pennant bearish pennant all right so this is these are uh, continuation patterns all right price let's look at the falling wedge price buys up okay buys consolidates into a wedge breaks the wedge to the upside and now sell buys up continue to buy all right stop loss below the wedge for a uh, falling uh, uh, falling wedge sorry this first one was a falling one for a rising wedge price sells down all right forms a consolidation in form of a rising wedge the wedge is rising here here the right wedge is falling here so the wedge rises up and when price breaks breaks the wedge to the downside the set the trailer enters a cell and expects to take profit the size of the the first leg of 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 the of the uh, cell all right place places the stop loss right above the consolidation wedge all right the consolidation of the wedge the rising wedge all right now the bullish triangle the bullish triangle okay sorry not triangle. the bullish rectangle price buys or flag price buys the first leg impulsive impulsive buy consolidation in form of a rectangle or a flag and then price breaks the flag to the upside and then the retailer enters the buy 
and a target the size the profit target is just about the size of the first leg of the first leg okay stop loss below at the other side of the consolidation or the rectangle or the flag as the case might be okay now the bullish rectangle just a similar opposite of the rect uh, very short angle the uh, bullish pennant price buys up buys up consolidates into a pennant and then breaks the pennant to the upside the retail trader enters a buy targets the initial leg the initial movement the size of the pole of the initial movement and places stop loss at the other side of the pennant all right now the bearish pennant is just the opposite okay these are continuation patterns now for the bilateral patterns bilateral pattern shows a possibility of either a movement in an upward trend or a movement in a downward trend so what do we mean when the retailer spots a bilateral pattern it means that price could can either go in a downward trend or in a movement on a or upward trend no specific direction depend the direction is determined by the break if price forms the consolidation and breaks to the downside and then retests it the retailer knows is going to the price is going to the downside if price forms the consolidation or the bilateral pattern consolidation breaks the structure or the consolidation to the upside retests the break and now the retailer enters the buy because it's, he knows that price is most likely to go to the buy side so let us see some of them so these are bilateral patterns we have the, uh, the ascending triangle price buys up forms an ascending triangle okay you see that this this triangle is this side of the triangle is flat why right? this is an ascending ascending okay and now price can either buy or sell break the, the triangle to the upside or the down or down side okay for the descending triangle almost the opposite of the ascending triangle price buys and sells this side of the triangle is flat okay just like a resist uh, just like a, a resistance okay just like it's not a reason just like a support okay and now price breaks can, price can either break the the triangle to the downside or to the upside all right so for the asymmetrical triangle price buys up and forms an asymmetry a, sorry it's a symmetrical triangle and can either break to the downside or the upside these, these are bilateral patterns so it can go to the upside or price can go to the downside so the confirmation is actually a break and retest as the case might be okay now let's move and let's see some chart example live some chart examples of these patterns where they actually showed up in the chart i'm able to mark them out for you okay so like this is a head and shoulder pattern price buys up forms a head forms a left shoulder buys up again forms a head and now forms a left shoulder and right shoulder which informs that this uh, market is going to sell so this is a classical example of a, a head and shoulder pattern head and shoulder pattern so this is, an, this is a head and shoulder pattern formed okay now for this is a bullish flag price buys up for the uh, gbp usd price buys up forms a flag and breaks the flag to the upside and now buys this is a bullish flag or bullish rectangle chart pattern okay this is a live this is a chart chart description or chart example of it okay let us see the next one this double top this is a double top price buys up forms a top buys down sorry sell down goes up again forms another top and now sell down okay this, this is a double top example this is a neckline so this is a double top ex chart example a double top okay so i hope you can be able to identify these these patterns when you see them on a live chart okay so now this is uh okay this this is the bullish flag uh, we we saw earlier this, this was a bullish flag we saw earlier now this is now ascending triangle now this ascending triangle is i want to really point out something right here so price was actually ascending ascending and now breaks structure breaks the triangle to the downside and retail trader would enter around here the retail trader would enter somewhere around this uh, this break of this ascending triangle somewhere around here okay now something happened something happened now <laughs> this shows the limitation of 
the uh, retail uh, chart patterns. This is this is a classical example of the limitation of the retail chart pattern. Okay, this uh, this 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 case. Now this is a, this is a, this is the trend line showing the the retail chart pattern, right? The ascending triangle. Now price broke up. Retail traders will get in a get into a buy. Would want to get into a buy right here, okay? And placing stop loss right here. And now price come, came down, blast through, and broke their broke their what? Broke their took out their stop loss. Can you see? Now, but for institutional traders, demand and supply traders, we know that this ascending triangle was was going. Sorry, the ascending triangle was actually going to to building up towards a supply zone. This is a supply zone right here. I marked it out. Okay, this is a supply zone right here. So the ascending triangle was building up to a supply zone and goes to the supply zone. Okay, and price now sold with a strong momentum. Okay, so and also the number two, the other uh, retail uh, traders would enter a sell right here. They would enter a sell just after the break of the ascending triangle. But you see the stop loss, or rather the, the risk trade, and your stop loss should actually be above the other side, at the other side of the triangle. So the stop loss would be much, would not be as smaller as the demand and supply traders who entered right here okay so you see the stop loss here this is just this is about uh, one is to about one is to five or there about stop loss uh, risk to reward ratio but if the retail trader had entered here this would be approximately one is to 1.5 or one is to two max risk to reward ratio so that is a disadvantage the little bit disadvantage of the short pattern trading short pattern your stop loss would be much you have you use it your, your not yeah your stop loss will be much and your risk to reward ratio will be low Okay, but the money supply traders and smart money traders like us, we have, we we have a better stop loss and a higher risk to reward ratio. Okay, so you see how a retail trader would trade this, and how a smart money or institutional trader would trade this particular chart. So we get in here, but the retail traders will get in after they break the downside, and higher having a higher stop loss. So that is one uh, classical example of how this works. Okay, now this is the bearish pennant. Okay, bearish pennant price built up up to this consolidation and now sold right here. Okay, this is a bearish pennant example. All right, so now what are the short patterns with the best probability of success? What are the short patterns with the best probability of success? Now, according to statistics generated from 10 years of data and over 200,000 short patterns that we are analyzed, okay, I've actually placed the link of these statistics. Uh, in, my, in the description, description box of my video of this video so about seven short patterns we are indicated to have the best success rates about seven short patterns we are indicated there are about 200 short patterns that we uh, analyzed by the researchers okay and they used 10 years data statistics from 10 years data so and when they analyzed these these chart patterns they were able to pick out the seven best or higher probability chart patterns and we're going to look at them right now okay and that has the best success rate number one is the head and shoulders chart pattern okay the head and shoulders uh chart pattern can you see the head and shoulders chart pattern have about 83.04 percent success rate or a probability a probability of success when traded statistically why the inverted or inverse head and shoulders have about 83.44 uh, percent success rate or probability of success now next you see you have the the, the, the bearish uh, rectangle or bearish flag has bearish rectangle has about about 78.23 percent success rate the bearish rectangle has about 79.51 percent success rate the triple top pattern has about 77.59 percent success rate or probability of success the triple bottom pattern has about 79.33 percent uh, success rate according to the researchers okay not this is not from me according to the i'll put a link to this to in the screen box of this video now number four the double bottom the double top pattern has about 75.01 percent success rate the double bottom pattern has about 78.55 percent success rate or probability of success the ascending channel pattern has about 73.03 percent success rate or probability of success the descending channel pattern has about 72.88 percent uh, uh success rate 
okay why the ascending channel ascending triangle pattern has about 72.77 percent success rate the descending triangle pattern has about 72.93 percent success rate then finally the bull flag pattern has about 67.13 percent success rate the bear flag has about 67 point point 72 percent success rate so from this now you should you would know that the head and shoulders pattern the head and shoulders pattern is according to the research was identified or indicated as the most the highest probability shot pattern retailers can trade followed by the inverse head and shoulders so the head and shoulders pattern are the uh, the, uh, are the 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 best probability shot pattern the shot pattern with the greatest probability of success okay so that is from that research all right so now uh what do i advise what if you want to focus on if you want to trade shot pattern strategies what is my advice for you what are the secrets number one wait for a break and retest of your of the consolidation or the shot pattern before you before you get into the trade okay the break and retest gives you additional confirmation or serves as, as an additional comp confirmation for you and also help you to gives you the confidence that that trade might work okay and also helps you to have a tighter stop loss so you wait for a break and retest of the consolidation or the break wait for the break and retest of the consolidation number two focus on one or two patterns only and master and trade them exclusively now you know that jack of all trades is master of none so it will do you better if you would identify a chart pattern do some back test of that chart pattern on your own okay learn that chart pattern be able to identify the chart patterns on any chart you see okay be able to identify the chart patterns know the chart pattern in and out of the chart pattern and focus on trading it or one at most two okay if you want to trade chart patterns identify one or two that that you that that resonates with you okay that, that you understand and resonates with your trading style and focus on them and be good at them okay also you can add other forms of confluences what do we mean by confluences confluences mean confirmations okay other confirmations to entry you can add other when you are trading your uh, uh, your your short part retail short patterns you can to get more probability of success and more stop loss uh, smaller stop loss and higher risk to reward ratio you might want to add other confluences other confirmations to the to read like demand and supply trend lines institutional, institutional trading uh, trading strategies before you take a trade before you take a short pattern trade okay like i do sometimes okay sometimes i want to know what the retailers are thinking and what they want to do and now bring myself put myself back into the position of 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 a, of a of a smart money trader or institutional trader okay i think i think i think like both the institutional trader and the retail traders this helped me to identify the areas of liquidity okay you if you know what if you look at my liquidity video you understand what i'm talking about you check my liquidity video you should know you will know what i'm talking about okay just search on my on my youtube channel liquidity okay so you would know what i'm talking about so my mentees understand what I'm talking about also. My 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 one-on-one -on -one mentees, they know what I'm talking about. So we think like both. So this helps or this gives us an edge. We think like both retailers and also uh smart money traders. And this or the institutional traders, this gives us an edge, some form of edge. Okay? So that is how these are three things that three things that can help you to be successful in trading short retail short patterns. Alright? So now this this is a retest I was talking about okay this is the retest i was talking about so when a price breaks 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 to the other side wait for a retest Re what do we mean by retest retest means price coming back to where the break happened all right like in this bearish wedge now price broke down came back to retest and now sell. so look at the these are retest retest uh version of those chart patterns i showed you earlier retest version okay price breaks the the consolidation goes back to the entry goes back to where the break occurred and now that should be that would that, that should inform you that uh after the successful retest and price is now going in the in, in the intended direction you are you can now enter your trade and you place your stop loss just directly after the retest that gives you a tight a tighter stop loss and a more higher risk to reward ratio all right so this is just what i talked about about 
the one what can help you to to have a better trading with chart pattern all right so that's basically it all right i hope you learned something from this video i hope you learned something i hope your trading journey would improve for those of you that trade chart patterns all right even if you're if you're if you're a traditional trader this would also help you uh, somehow all right so i want to thank you so much for viewing our video this video thank you for staying with me please kindly subscribe to our channel and like our videos and share it with others okay now you might want to join the link to the the our free telegram uh, signals group it's actually a free telegram chart analysis group so in that group i post almost every day i post uh or frequently let me say frequently i post uh chart analysis or trading ideas ideas that can help you to make your decision your personal decision to trade all right so also i do one-on-one -on -one mentorship one-on-one -on -one training i do one-on-one -on -one trading training okay i don't believe in collective training i i believe that each each trader each individual has a unique assimilation rate a unique assimilation assimilation and understanding rate rate of understanding so that is why i train people one-on-one one-on-one -on -one. -on -one with me i don't sublet it i don't sublet no one-on-one -on -one with me so if you want me to train you one-on-one -on -one, right from the scratch you're a stubborn trader you want me to train you to take you by the hand and make you to be successful help you to be successful in this business send me a dm my my contact my telegram contact is in this is in the link of this video all right or when you come into the telegram my telegram channel you see my link there also okay so you send me a dm let's get this started let me coach you let me mentor you okay i'll take you by the hand and help you to become a successful forest trader over time all right so till till i come your way next time i want to wish you all the best continue to practice continue to progress never give up nothing good comes easy continue to make progress continue to push on one day one day sooner than later your effort would would count your effort will show your effort will count your results will be amazing so congratulations in advance and i want to be your you want to continue to be your partner in progress congratulations in advance to your success in forest trading all right do have a wonderful day